Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, using the given circuit, the 8-bit DAC is implemented using the two identical 4-bit DACs. And here, the reference voltage of each DAC is also equal. So here, we have been asked to find the value of this resistor R in a such a way that we can obtain the correct analog voltage corresponding to the 8-bit DAC. So in general, we know that for the n bit DAC, if V reference is the reference voltage, then its resolution is equal to this V reference divided by 2 to the power n. So for simplicity, let's say this reference voltage of this 4 bit DAC is equal to 4 volt. So in that case, this resolution will be equal to this 4 divided by 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 0.25 volt. That means with the given reference voltage, the resolution of the 4 bit DAC will be equal to 0.25 volt. So in this case, if 0000, 0, 0, 0 is the input to this 4 bit DAC, then the corresponding output voltage will be equal to 0. On the other end, if the input to this 4 bit DAC is 1000, 0, 0, then in the decimal, that corresponds to 8 and in that case the corresponding output voltage will be equal to 8 times 0.25 volt that is equal to 2 volt. On the other end if the input is all ones then in the decimal that corresponds to 15 and with the given input the output will be equal to 15 times 0.25 volt that is equal to 3.75 volt. So in this way, if reference voltage of the 4 bit DAC is 4 volt, then we will get the corresponding output voltages. Now using two such identical 4 bit DACs, the 8 bit DAC has been constructed. But in this case, the reference voltage of both DAC is same. That means the resolution of the both DAC will also remain same. So for example, if the reference voltage is 4 volt, then the resolution of the both DACs will be equal to 0.25 volt. But with the given resolution, the output voltage should scale up accordingly. So for example, if we build the 8-bit DAC using two such 4-bit DACs, then for the input of 1000000, the corresponding output voltage should be equal to 32 volt. Because this number in the decimal corresponds to 128 and if the resolution is 0.25 volt then the corresponding output voltage for this 128 should be equal to 128 times 0.25 that is equal to 32 volt that means if we build the 8 bit DAC using these two 4 bit DACs then the output voltage should scale up accordingly. Now let us see what will be the individual output voltage of these two 4 bit DACs. So if we apply these 8 bits to these two 4 bit DACs, then for the one DAC, the input will be equal to 0000, 0, 0, 0, while for the second DAC, the input will be equal to 1000. 0, 0, 0. So for this 0000, 0, 0, 0, the corresponding output voltage will be equal to 0. On the other end, for the higher 4 bits, the output will be equal to 2 volt, because in the decimal, this 1000 0, 0, 0 corresponds to 8 and for this input the output will be equal to 8 times 0.25 volt that is equal to 2 volt that means for the given input this will be the individual output voltage of two DSAs. now using the external circuit this two output voltage has been added but here we need some scaling factor so that we get the desired result corresponding to 8 bit dac so in this case we should scale up the output voltage of this left hand DAC by the factor of 16 so that we will get the desired output which corresponds to 8 bit DAC. So with this scaling factor, if you now add the two voltages, then that corresponds to 32 volt. That means here, we need the scaling factor of 16. So let us take one more example. So let's say the input to this 8 bit DAC is equal to 0100 and 1100. So in the decimal that corresponds to 76. 
and for this input the corresponding output voltage should be equal to 76 times 0.25 volt that is equal to 19 volt so for this given 8 bits the input to the one dac will be equal to 0100 while the input to the second dac is equal to 1100 so in the decimal this 1100 corresponds to 12 and with that input the analog output voltage will be equal to 12 times 0.25 volt that is equal to 3 volt that means the output of the lower dac will be equal to 3 volt on the other end the 0100 in the decimal corresponds to 4 and the corresponding output voltage will be equal to 4 times 0.25 volt that means the analog output voltage of this left hand dac will be equal to 1 volt so once again here we need the scaling factor of 16 and with the scaling factor if we add the two output voltages then we will get our desired voltage which corresponds to the 8 bit dac that means here we need the scaling factor of 16 so the same thing has been done using this op-amp circuit so here the op-amp is configured in the inverting configuration and in fact it is the inverting summing amplifier so this vo1 and the vo2 are the output voltages of the two dacs so these two output voltages will act as an input to this op-amp circuit and since it is the inverting summing amplifier so the output of this op-amp that is equal to minus 8k divided by 8k times vo1 minus 8k divided by r times vo2 that is equal to minus vo1 plus 8k divided by r times vo2 so this will be the output voltage of this inverting summing amplifier so since it is configured in the inverting configuration so of course here we will get the negative sign but this circuit will add the two output voltages with some scaling factor so as we have seen for this left hand dac or the dac which adds the higher four bits we need the scaling factor of 16 that means in this case this 8k divided by r should be equal to 16 or in other words this r should be equal to this 8k divided by 16 that is equal to 0.5 kilo ohm so with this value of r we can construct the 8 bit dac and with that we can get the scaling factor of 16 so from this we can say that for the given circuit the required value of r is equal to 0.5 kilo ohm and hence for the given question this b is the correct answer